Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be must have or the best products from Amazon for your cats. As most of you guys know, I have two cats and a lot of these products have been life changing when it comes to caring for my cats. And I know most of you guys have cats as well, so that's why I wanted to share these products with you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and the notification bell down below. And without further ado, if you guys like to find out must have or the best products for your cat, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first product I've mentioned in a couple other videos before that I've done like my best products from Amazon, but I'm gonna mention it in this video because you guys, like it's so amazing and you need this product in your life if you have cats or dogs, not just cats. So this is called the Chom Chom. Basically what it is, is it's a pet lint roller, but you can even use it, like I cannot honestly just use it on my shirt. So, you know, you can use it on yourself. It's not just for pets, but it is designed for pets and pet hair. So my two cats, especially my older cat, Koala, her hair is throughout this entire house. And when she sits on our couches, it just gets all over. And what I love about this thing is that it just sucks the hair right up. It's way better than using like the sticky lint rollers, like the sticky tape or like sticky tape. It's not even sticky tape, but you guys know what I mean. Like the sticky pieces of paper, the sheets. This is way better than that. Or honestly, like I think this is kind of better than a vacuum too. And I'll get into vacuums as well. But this gets hair that you don't even see and it gets every last hair. So I don't know, like I know this is kind of gross, but yeah. Okay, so this might be gross, but I wanna show you guys how well this works. Do you guys see like all that cat hair? That is just cat hair. And what I do is once a week, I go to the spots where my cats like to sleep and I just do this um, and it literally gets everything. So that's why I wanted to mention this to you guys because before I got this, uh, I would like try to vacuum with like a, a smaller vacuum and it would kind of do the job, but not as well as this thing does. And it's simple enough where you can just grab it. If you see some hair, you can grab it. Honestly, you guys, like sometimes like right after I get done vacuuming my carpets upstairs and then my cats get in a fight and my one cat's hair is all over the place and, and I don't feel like getting the vacuum again, I will take this on the carpet and it literally sucks the hair up. So that's how amazing this product is. So I figured I'd mention it and it's fairly inexpensive. I think it's like under $25. So I will have it linked down below. So the next product has definitely saved my butt when it comes to grooming my cat in particular my younger cat Coda, Mr. Coda, you guys know him. And so it's weird because in like the springtime, for some reason, um, Coda, my younger cat, I I've noticed this the last two years, he gets these mats in the back, up, like on his like lower back by his butt. And these mats, I don't know where they come from. He's not an outdoor cat. I just don't know where they come from and they're bad. Like they're like knotted mats. And he's got short hair, so. Um, anyways, um, I started noticing this like two years ago that every spring it happens. If you guys know why that happens, I, I'd like let me know. It's just weird. So I'm already prepared for this spring. But anyway, so I started researching like how do I get mats out? Like I was like trying to cut them out. And if I'm trying to touch like his backside or around his back or his butt, like he will bite me. Like he will. <laughs> um, and I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to like? What am I going to do? He has so many and it's uncomfortable to him as well. Like, you know, if I tried to like touch them he, like his mats like he just he didn't like it it was uncomfortable so I understand that so then I started doing a lot of research online I tried a couple things I tried putting like I think like they're, they're like I for, even forget like they recommend like some kind of like oil to put on it or whatever then I came across this thing I don't even know like what the, this is called patty patty or pet that's the brand of it I guess but it's basically just like a, a cat comb or, or a brush comb um, I mean, you could use this on dogs. So what I like about this, as you guys can see, is there's two different size combs. There's a tighter size comb and a looser size comb. And, um, you know, depending on, you know, what you're trying to do or what your cat likes, I always tend to go with the tighter one. But you guys, like, this thing saved my life when it came to getting those mats out of Coda's hair. Um, you know, he did bite me, like, I'm not gonna lie, like, it, it was pretty bad, but I needed to get them out, and, like, I would try to hold them, and I would just keep brushing and keep brushing, and I would kind of, like, wiggle it around, but this thing did the job, like, I didn't know what I was gonna do, so if you guys have, you know, cats or even dogs and the matted fur, and you don't know what to do, like, I would definitely give this thing a try. Secondly, mats aside, 
Uh, this is great for just grooming your cats. Now, my older cat, Koala, her, hair, her fur is usually all over the house. She sheds more than Coda. So she likes, you know, like a girl that she is, she likes to get groomed with this. She loves when I brush her. For some reason, Coda doesn't really care for this thing, but Koala loves when I brush her. She loves, especially like on her head, she loves it. It feels so good for her. But at the same time, this feels good for her and I'm grooming her. I'm getting all the extra um, fur that she sheds every single day. And I try to do it like every day or every other day. Like I try to remember and be good about it, but it's getting all that extra fur that could be laying around on my carpets or my hardwoods or on fur. Furniture. So this works great as well for that. Okay, you guys. So the third product is the Stain Master Carpet Pet Stain Remover. Now this again is not just for cats, but for dogs as well. So this is great for me um, because there was a phase, like a really long phase, and it like just stopped uh, a couple months ago because I switched my cat's foods, food. But they were like puking more so my younger one, Coda, because he's a little piglet and he rushes to eat as well. Um, he was puking like all the time like there was one week where I kid you not it was like every day he was puking and when he would puke downstairs on our hardwoods I'm like okay you know it kind of sucked but I'm like okay that's fine but when he would puke upstairs on our carpets especially because this house is a year old so these carpets are new I would get really nervous and um, I actually didn't even find out about this product until um, my mother-in-law who was um, cat sitting our cats like she would come and check up on them and feed them there was a week where we were gone and I think, I don't know if it's because of the food or because they missed us. I don't know. It was like bizarre because they were just puking all over the freaking house. So she went and got this and it works. And ever since then, when they've had like, you know, they puked up here, like this literally gets it out. I think there was even one spot in here gone. Like you can't even tell um, if it's wet or if it's dry, depending on how long the puke's been sitting there. I know that's gross. <laughs> um, this stuff really works. So that's why I wanted to mention it. Uh, it pretty much works for anything even honestly you guys like lately even if like I spill something that's not even pet related It was just like something I did or I noticed a stain on the carpets like I use this as well It works pretty damn good. So that's why I wanted to mention it This is definitely a good product to have when you have cats or dogs uh, Definitely a good product to have so the next three products are kind of similar in the fact that they are for protecting your furniture from cats or pets scratching. A lot of these products could honestly be good for dogs too, but when it comes to scratching, cats definitely are known for that over dogs per se. So this product right here definitely saved my life. It is a cat scratching board. It's just like the cardboard scratching post as you guys can see in the picture. Now I'm not going to open this because I have to wrap this soon because it actually is a Christmas gift for my cats. But I have one of these upstairs and downstairs and this is great for me and for my cats. Like it's uh, multi-purpose. <laughs> So for me, this protects my furniture because it gives my cats a place to scratch because cats need to scratch. It's just a natural thing um, that they have to do. Um, but I don't want them scratching my furniture. And so when we moved into our house last year, we bought brand new furniture and we were nervous about the couches downstairs. We definitely didn't get leather because they destroyed our leather couches from our townhouse. But um, so anyways, um, my mom had these like floating around and then I start, then she started getting them for me. I don't know if they sell this particular brand on Amazon, um, but I bought them from Amazon before. They have them like, so I'll link a couple down below or link whatever ones I can find. They're all, they all do the same thing. So. This is great because what I will do is I will put this, there's a chair downstairs that for some reason I've caught them scratching on before and you can kind of tell where they've scratched it. But I put this right by the chair and I'd say like, well, I can't speak for the times that I'm not here, but I'd say like 95% of the times I am here, uh, I see them use the I see I see them use the scratching board that's right next to the couch and I always say good job especially Coda I'm like good boy Coda because it is a great job when they're not scratching my furniture so um, that's like a tip to you guys put it by you know whatever you think they're going to scratch now I have one upstairs as well because um, they would like to it's weird because um, there that's the thing too with the cats will look for places to scratch so if you don't give them somewhere where they can scratch then they're gonna look for places to scratch. So I finally understood that. So I leave one up here because they they used to start like scratching the carpet right at the top of the stairs. So I put one up here 
and they always go and they scratch now. So I really don't catch them scratching things they're not supposed to scratch. These, these boards, they're so cheap and they literally like saved my furniture's life. So that's why I figured I'd mention them. And they last a while and I actually like realize that you flip them over. So when the top like part kind of is looking like, you know, it's, it's not really usable anymore for the cats to scratch because they scratched it all up. Flip it over and you've got a brand new side. And like, I don't even know, like one day, I I don't even know how I realized it. I probably like should have read it that it was like reversible. But um, the other thing too, this is kind of like a side note. A lot of these boards come with catnip and you know, I just am not a fan of catnip. I don't like catnip, especially because my younger cat Coda, like, I don't know, I want to say like three or four years ago, my mom stopped by my house and I wasn't there and she was dropping off some things for the cats and um, she gave Coda, my younger one, King Coda, uh, she gave him catnip and she told me it was like one of the scariest things she's ever seen in her life, like he was acting like a tiger. And um, I've actually seen it before. I don't, like, it literally like changes him. And he, uh, like, it's kind of, it's really scary. And my point being, it, you know, I guess it affects cats differently, but I just don't like the whole idea around it. I mean, it's like, kind of like, you know, you're getting cats high. Like, I don't, I just don't like it at all. Okay, so that leads me into the next product, which I'm going to have to insert a picture for because obviously I can't hold this thing up, but it's a giant scratching post. This was actually a Christmas gift for my cats, I want to say like three years ago, and I think it was like, I don't know, I feel like the price changes all the time, but I think we bought it for under $50, but it's definitely a great investment. This thing we have brought in from our townhouse to here, it survived, it's still scratchable, but basically it's got like, I want to say Berber material all around it, and my cats use this thing all the time. What we do is we have it downstairs and we put it in front of that chair I was telling you about. Like I've got the board, but I've also got that right in front of the exact area where they scratch. And I always see Koda and Koala, they go up there and they stretch and they kind of do their scratching on that as well. So it's just another option for them, but I do see them use it all the time. And we actually had that before we even used the scratching boards. So it definitely has come in handy. They love scratching it um, and they're not scratching my furniture, so I wanted to mention that as an alternative to the scratching boxes because it is good to have the scratching post as well. You know, they kind of like to stretch and they, you know, they can scratch this way as opposed to scratching that way. I mean, maybe that makes a difference. I, I think it does to my cat. They like to scratch this way and that way. So, um, yeah, I would definitely recommend that. The third product that's related to scratching, I don't use as much because of the other two products I mentioned, but I do want to mention this anyway. So this is called the Smarty Cat Training Spray scratch not so basically it's just a spray that you spray on furniture for cats to not scratch uh, and this honestly um, would be good for like maybe Christmas trees my cats for some reason it was weird because I remember like when they were like both babies they definitely were like trying to crawl up the Christmas tree this year they're not at all um, or actually the last like, couple of years they just don't even really go near it so um, you might even want to try this on your Christmas trees if your cats you know mess around with your Christmas tree and the ornaments. But side, so anyways, basically this smells like lemon. It's kind of got like a lemon, cell, lemon citrusy and cats don't like that. So I've used this a couple times. Um, basically you spray it on the areas you don't want them to scratch. But I don't use this a lot anymore because um, you know, you gotta keep spraying it and keep spraying it and keep spraying it. And you know, you might not like the smell. Um, but it has come in handy, but the other two products that I mentioned definitely, um, you know, are way better. I can keep them out. I don't have to do anything to them. They just stay there and the cats do their business and they like to scratch. So I figured I would mention this, um, scratching spray. I mean, it does work. It says it's a training spray too. Um, you know, I, I can't attest to that because I haven't tried to train my cats not to scratch our furniture. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would, um, if you guys are looking for a scratching spray, I would definitely recommend this one, but there's probably other ones as well out there. Okay, so the last product, I'm going to have to insert a picture up above as well, but it's my vacuum cleaner. And I love this vacuum cleaner. I was doing a lot of research when I bought it. I did buy it on Kohl's, but they do have it on Amazon. I was going to buy it on Amazon last year, but I think Kohl's was a little cheaper with like their 30%, but I think it's actually cheaper on Amazon now. But it is the Shark uh, Ultra True Pet 2 maybe. 
if there's a number next to it. But anyways, I will have it linked down below. But this vacuum, I've had it for a little over a year. It's relatively lightweight. It's it's a lot <laughs> it's a lot lighter than my last vacuum. Put it that way. I go up and down stairs with it. It's got so many different like attachments to it, which is great. Like you can use it in your car. You can get into different areas around the house, um, different surfaces. There's um, an attachment for hardwoods. There's an attachment for carpets. Um, it, I mean, for the amount of money you pay for it, it really does come with a lot. So. Um, I bought it too because I read a lot of the reviews because it's the cat hair that really needs to be picked up around my house. This thing, like I'm telling you, I don't even know where this cat hair comes from, but after I vacuum my house each week, it is full of cat hair. Like it's unbelievable because it's not visible to your eyes. So that's why I wanted to mention this vacuum, guys. It's phenomenal. And when I'm done, I empty it out and that's it. It doesn't have a bag or anything. I think my last ba vacuum did have a bag, so this is bagless, but it's, it's fine. I just dump it out, but it definitely gets every single piece of hair. Um, and it's, it's gray hair, so it's like koalas. Like my older cat, she just, and she's only like three years older than Coda, but she's been shedding for years. So I guess it just depends on the cat. Um, she's got really soft fur, uh, but she just sheds a shitload. So uh, yeah, the vacuum fills up with her hair. This thing gets everything. It does such a good job. I've had it for a little over a year and it just makes vacuuming so great. And I love too because especially like when I go upstairs with the vacuum, then I kind of take it out. I'll do the stairs just with like the regular, um, you know, I don't, I don't even know what you want to call it. Just, I take it out of the like attachment and I just go down the stairs with it. It's, it's just great. It comes in handy. You can do like your whole entire house. You can do your car. I mean, you can do anything with it, but specifically for pets, it's amazing at sucking up their hair. So let me know if you guys have any of these products or have tried any of these products for your cats. And also let me know if there's any like products that I need to try for my cats that I didn't mention and I might not know about because I would love to know. I'm always open for new suggestions when it comes to products for my cats. But anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye.